Good morning, super cool party people. Welcome back to the theater. <laughs> oh, I am so tired. I did not sleep well last night and I was up from like five until six, it seems. According to my ring, I was up quite a bit in that hour time period. So that's exciting. I did not want to get up today. Honestly, last night, I almost just left a note in the bathroom because like my mom's giving me rides because I'm not taking public transit. I left a note in the bathroom or I almost left in the bathroom that said, never mind, <laughs> and just slept. But here I am, and I know that I will feel better for it. I think I'm probably going to do about six hours today because I think I have 12 hours left this week. It's like, who knows? And exciting news, though, I've almost gotten through all of my hours that were tied to shows, which was the bulk of it, but I still have all my admin hours, which is half of what was tied to the show. So we're still <laughs> trying to get through it, but we're making progress, which is all that matters. I have a few tasks to do today before I get into painting, but then I get into painting. I might paint furniture today, I think. There's all these like benches here and little cubes and like around the top seams they're cracking and some of them have been touched up with paint, but they could really just use a full coat, I think, is what would make the most sense, like a sand down of the problematic areas and then a full coat of paint. And that will give me several hours worth of work, which is exciting because I am starting to run out of things to do. I think I have these doors to paint and that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's fine. Anyways, I'm going to go now. I'm going to get to work and going to listen to a bunch of Harry Potter i realized like, as I was listening through these, I was like, I think book four is my least favorite book, but I'm on book six now and I'm not sure if I'm that much of a fan of it either, <laughs> but it could just be because like book five is my favorite book. So that might be why I was just like, I don't really like book four because I just want to get to book five. And now I've been thinking about book seven because seven is probably the book I've read the least and I'm very excited for it. So that might be why book six is like, eh. Also book six is the one that my Harry Potter fan fiction was based around. So I've read it a lot, a lot, a lot. But anyways, I am on book six. Like I said, I'm doing all right. Chapter 17. So that's exciting. But anyways, I should probably get to work now so I don't pass out. And then I might not do Walmart today because I'm really tired. So I might just go home and go to sleep. It's fine. We got all the time in the world. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going. Well, hello. <laughs> it's um 20 after three now and I'm home. I ended up working for six hours because I got into painting things and then I didn't want to paint things anymore. <laughs> Basically, I'm painting furniture. I think I mentioned it. I'm painting furniture in the lobby and I don't have the original paint color that they used because it's been who knows how many years since it's painted. I mean, I do technically have the original paint color. It's just solid in the bottom of a open can of paint. So I was like, I'll just pick a similar color, which is actually a lot more gray and a little bit lighter, but it's fine. So that's what I was doing. I got the four cubes done. That's four with one coat each. And then I started to do an extra coat on the last one. And I was like, oh, I need to go wash my brush because it's been sitting here for a while and then so I just got everything ready and prepped to paint tomorrow so I'll go back again tomorrow probably do like another six hours or so depending but that's where we're at and it is exciting and then in other exciting news I did go to Walmart and I did in fact get things <laughs> I wasn't too tired but the reason I really want to go to Walmart today was because I got an email this morning. I can't remember if I mentioned, I don't think I did, saying that my sewing machine order with Singer had been canceled because they didn't have enough inventory, which I was kind of afraid something like this might happen. I was like, because <sighs> it was sold out after I bought it. So I had a feeling that maybe they might have oversold, which they did, except they're like, we haven't, we won't charge your credit card, except they already did. So gonna have to wait a couple days for that to be returned, but it's fine. So I want to go to Walmart because I want to see if they had another sewing machine or also to get more threads so I could attempt to use mine. Like mine works, it just doesn't do most of the things that you need a sewing machine to do. Like it does the straight stitch, that's it. <laughs> but. They did have sewing machines, which is exciting. I managed to find one that was comparable in price, comparable in features, etc. And it is this guy. It's a Brother SQ9130 computerized sewing and quilting machine. So it's got like a lot of the things that I was very excited for, especially the alphanumeric stitches. So we will see if it does what I would like it to do. But I got some other things too. This was, I haven't been to Walmart in 
a month. And Walmart has like my favorite type of chips, which are these great value sea salt and malt vinegar ones. And they are amazing. If you have not tried these, try them, try them. I got six bags because it's going to be like another month before I go back. I also picked up some compressed air because my Dyson fan was getting really dusty and that's the only way to clean it out. And then I got other things. So it's starting to get hotter. I've mentioned it a few times and I typically just sleep with a fitted sheet and a duvet. Well, as it gets hotter, the duvet kind of isn't a thing that's enjoyable to be sleeping under. And so last night I was like using this fleece and then that wasn't quite big enough. So I had my other fleece and so it was a little warm. And so I was like, let's pick up some sheets. I've needed new sheets for a while. So I got this gray set. It says it's a kid's set, but whatever, I don't care. It's the right size and it's gray, so it'll match the blanket. So I got that and it's got a sheet now, which will be nice because then I can just, you know, not sweat to death. It is very hot in this room right now and I don't have my fan on because my fan's right there. But anyways, the other day I mentioned that I started on a set of uh, post-it notes, post-it note flags, and I always use the blue and the purple. And so I was like, oh, when I run out of these, I'm in trouble. So I found these ones, they were two bucks each. The only difference is they have orange instead of yellow, which makes me kind of sad, but I can survive. So it's not quite the same, but it's close. And then I also saw that they had these guys on for sale for two bucks each. And I don't have this pattern. So we got those. <laughs> I have a problem, <laughs> I know. And because it's probably gonna be a while before I go back to Walmart, I got some more of these under eye patches or whatever that I really enjoy. So got like what, six of those to go with like the two I have. So I'll be good for a while cause it's not like I do them every day. I picked up just a couple squares of fun fabric because if I'm making masks, I want to have fun masks. I really like this one too. It's super cute with like the constellations. So I got Nant. I got some ribbon to use for the, um, ties on masks. I have some pink at home too. So I figured because that way I don't have to make the ties. I just really don't want to make the ties. So I figured this is a good solution. And I was concerned that it wasn't going to stay tied because it saddened me. But I saw some people that were in Walmart and they had masks with ribbon ties. So hey, I think it's going to work because they weren't falling off their faces. I got a bunch of thread because like you need thread. Did I need this much thread? Probably not. But and then last but not least, I got the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer, um, which I saw Tati use like a couple months ago. And so I've been trying to find it ever since then and I just haven't come across it. She says it is very similar to the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer, which like I felt that I just went through it really fast. I'm not out of it yet, but I definitely prefer the... Um, Smashbox photo finish. This one I like much more than the putty, but I figured I would give it a try. And that is everything that I got at the Walmart. And um, I've changed into shorts now, which is very exciting. It is so hot outside. It's like 18 degrees. It feels a lot hotter. And um, I think it's time to like get my life in order. I don't know if I'm going to try to make any masks or use my sewing machine tonight, but maybe we'll see. I don't know. I'm going into work tomorrow and in my head, like I keep thinking I'm not going to work tomorrow, but I am going to work tomorrow because I left a huge mess in the lobby. Do I have my phone nearby? Like that's what I left the lobby looking like. So I should probably go in sooner rather than later. I still think I probably won't get it done until next week because it takes a long time to paint those things. Um, but we'll see. Anyways, that being said, I need to figure stuff out. I need to figure out what I want to do for dinner because they're doing like a free for all kind of thing tonight, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure. I need to touch base with the other people in this household and try to figure out what the heck is going on. But just want to update. We're back. I have a sewing machine, which I'm so excited about. I'm just like ready to make things. Alrighty. So like significant time has passed, like five hours, but it is fine. I put my laundry away. <laughs> I decided to put only my sewing stuff in this bin, but I have like a bunch of other craft stuff over there. I don't know. I pulled my sewing machine out. That's exciting. I was reading the manual and like I only got through up until like how to thread the needle. And I was just like, wow, this machine is so amazing because I know I've mentioned my other, my current machine that is just like so broken. Um, but even my machine before that I had like an older secondhand one and it worked all right for a while and then the tension just got so messed up that it would like snap thread and it was basically unusable which is why I got that one and 
it's fine. I'm just like, I feel like I'm so spoiled because when I went to sewing school, like we had decent machines, but this one's computerized and it can do letters and like embroidery like stitches and I could quilt on it if I want to. Like it is the most, which is very exciting. So I can't wait to give it a try. I'm actually thinking about maybe plugging it in and trying to do one of the masks, like one of the ones that I have a lot of fabric for in case it screws up. But we shall see. I don't think I'm going to do any writing today because I just don't feel like it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just really unmotivated lately to do anything writing related. But I did just edit yesterday's vlog. My new rule, I think I've decided, is if it's after 4 p.m., it'll go up the next day. If it's before 4 p.m., it'll go up that day. So it's going up tomorrow. But that is fine. So I think I'm going to, I don't know, maybe listen to some Harry Potter. I've realized that I have conditioned myself so much that when I'm playing my racing game on here, which is called, wait, I realized I didn't mention it the other day, it's called Moto Rush GT. So if I am playing that game and just like sitting here and I'm not listening to Harry Potter, my brain is like, this is not Harry Potter, which I find really funny. So my brain was like, this is not Harry Potter because I was listening to it while I was waiting for stuff to happen on the computer. But yeah, I think I'm going to try to figure something out, at least, like, get the box out of beside my bed. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see, but that's where we're at. Feeling all right. A little tired, but it's only 8.20, so it's probably a little bit early to go to sleep. But I do have to get up at 6 tomorrow, because my mom works at 7. And with her truck also being broken right now, it's just going to be a family affair going to work tomorrow. <laughs> Me first, then her dropped off, and then, yeah. Fun times. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to go try to do something productive, perhaps? We'll find out. Oh my goodness, I am exhausted. It's quarter to 11 and I think I'm about to pass out. So, I'm just going to share the last things that I did. Wow, that was difficult to English. Anyway, I decided to try my hand at sewing a mask. So look, here's a mask. It like, it's, see... It works, except the problem is the pattern I had, I think, is specifically for elastics. And so the placement for the ribbons didn't fit weird. Didn't fit weird, fit weird, didn't fit properly. And also, I managed to rip out one of the ribbons while I was trying to figure out a way to make it work. But it's pretty impressive considering I haven't sewn anything for years, really. So that was a bust. So the second time around, I changed the placement and I also like burnt the ends of the ribbon to seal it before I sewed it in. And this one fits much better. The placement's a little bit different. I'm still not sure if I'm a fan of the ribbon, so I think tomorrow I'm, or next time I work on it, I might try to just make a strap. But it works pretty well. Flee. Puzzle doll. <laughs> I miss sewing. I've realized that. Like, also, like, damn, this is pretty good considering it's been so long. All the seams line up, basically. Nothing sticking out. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> Pat on my back. Anyways, so that's what I did. It didn't take me too long. The first one took me a little bit longer just because. I had never done this pattern before, obviously, and so I was like, wait, how does this work? Um, like placement and everything, which obviously didn't work the best, but the second one worked a lot better because by that point I knew what, when I had to put what sides together and all that. So I'm very happy with how this turned out. I wish I had elastic though, because ow. <laughs> I think it would just be better with elastic, but say la vie. Anyways, I'm going to go sleep now. I think I'm just going to continue this vlog tomorrow because I don't think I have a lot of footage, but who knows, but we're just going to continue on tomorrow. I'm going to go back to the theater. I'm going to paint more things. I think it's going to be a long day at work tomorrow. At least six hours, but we will survive. So good night for now, and I will see you in the morning. Well, good morning. I'm back. <laughs> Welcome to the theater. I did not sleep very well at all last night. Like, I think my last clip was like, I am so exhausted, I need to fall asleep right now. And I climbed into bed and I was like, 
hello, let's be super awake. So I slept for less than four hours last night because on top of that, I also kept waking up, which was fantastic. So we'll see how today goes. Should be interesting, but we are here. Ever since like everything's closed down, downtown and I, I don't know if that's shelters and stuff too but the homeless population has felt like it's expanded um <laughs> so we're near the library so the library awning always has people under it and we have a little awning and the last couple like every shift i've come in lately there's been somebody there last week i think it was or maybe tuesday there was a lady there and she just like refused to move and i'm like i i gotta get in and she like even though other people came in like normally they're really great like we're like hey sorry sorry can i get in that's like our only door and they're like i am so sorry like that's normally the interaction we're all good so on whatever that day was this lady was just like and like refused to move and i'm like well sorry if i hit you with the door <laughs> yesterday there was a guy there who had like a full tarp up and everything just living his best life and i'm like i'm so sorry like for waking you up i gotta get in and <laughs> he was like oh i'm so sorry i'll move and i'm like you got time before the next person comes in, so like take your time. <laughs> Today, I like I'm coming up, and there's like two shopping carts, and somebody's sleeping there, and I'm like, oh frick, am I even gonna be able to get in at all? And fortunately, he was sleeping over like this way, and so I could get to the door if I went like around in the garden. <laughs> Meanwhile, all his buddies at the library are yelling at him like, hey, wake up! You gotta wake up! You gotta wake up! And I'm like, it's fine, I got in, I got in. <laughs> But that was my morning this morning. There's just, I feel so bad because like, there's just everywhere. There's like a building that, or a, um, an apartment building that caught on fire recently. And allegedly there were more people living there than were actually supposed to be living there. So I think that might be part of the problem too. At least, at least the weather is nice. Anyways, I did not want to come into work today, and honestly, I will show you the only reason I did come into work, and it is this. Because I have all my furniture prepped and ready to paint. This, These guys here, like I mentioned yesterday, I've already painted. This one has two coats on it, so hopefully two is enough, but we'll see. These ones each have one, and then everything else is just prepped. I think it's going to be a day where it takes me the majority of the day, and I still don't get everything done. That's what I'm feeling, but who knows? I've got a couple things I need to do before I jump right into painting, which is probably good, because it'll help me wake up. But I'm going to go now, have a breakfast drink, watch some YouTube or something, because it is 6.38. It is so early. My mom had to work at 7, and so, again, not taking the bus it takes it makes sense for me to come in with her um, but also right now because her vehicle is out of commission we're down to one vehicle so yeah fun times anyways I'm gonna go because I think I might just pass out if I remain sitting here slash my brain function is slowly dropping see you in a bit Twenty to five. I worked until three thirty, painting. I got covered in paint, like to the point that I had to scrub paint off of like this arm. It was all the way up there. I think I got it off. Oh, my battery's gonna die. Ugh. And like the paint is all over my pants too because painting the stupid furniture. I've just been basically crawling on the floor, on top of the plastic sheeting, and sometimes the plastic sheeting has wet paint on it still and sometimes because I have some of the furniture close together when I'm like going in between I just hit it and I think I have paint in my hair but I'm not 100% sure. C'est la vie. Um, but my I think because it's a latex based paint I think there's a pretty good chance that a lot of it will come out of my pants. Um, but if not I end up getting bleach on them a couple weeks ago anyways so it's fine. <laughs> I am really sleepy. I, I was going strong and it was good and like I got to see a lady that I work with today who I haven't seen in like a month barring our 
uh, staff meetings online, but it was crazy because I was like, oh my god, it's a different person. So that was nice, and we chatted for a bit. It was just nice to have somebody new. <laughs> it's like a novelty. Anyways, I think I'm gonna have a nap because I am actually, actually dying. Actually dying. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm off tomorrow, and because I worked a longer shift today than I intended, I'm like now down to 15 hours a week <laughs> for the next two weeks. Um, but I mean, we'll see how painting goes. I might be able to finagle a couple extra hours out of my boss if I need them. But we will see. But anyways, I'm going to be off until... Today. What is today? Is Friday? I think it's Friday. So I'm going to be off for the weekend for sure. I might go in Monday just because I have to do so much more painting. Um, and Tuesday is the days that I do like my actual tasks that I have to do. Which instead of being like... They're like two hours before it would take me to do my Tuesday stuff. And now it takes me like 30 minutes because there's just no shows and there's nothing going on and blah, 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 blah. It's fine. But I might go in on Monday to finish the painting because I think I have... Oh my god, my brain. I have two more tables to paint and two short benches and two long benches. So I think that's like about four hours worth of painting. Fun. <laughs> But then other than that, I think I just have to paint doors, and then if I feel like it, there's like an entire wall upstairs I can paint, but we'll see. Anyways, I need a nap. It is, like I said, like, it's 20 to 5. Did I say that before? I feel like I did. I don't know. I'm losing it. Um, I need to nap now if I'm going to nap, because otherwise there's no point, but I really do need to nap now. Well, hello. I live. Um, wow. I, I feel like I was pretty incomprehensible in the last clip. I felt like I was rambling and I was like just I climbed to bed. I didn't even like attempt to make my bed or anything. I just climbed in in the chaos that is there and I was out cold pretty quickly and I slept for three hours. I was exhausted. I actually when I climbed to bed I was like oh I'm gonna play a little bit on my Nintendo Switch in my racing game and all I did was crash into vehicles. <laughs> I just like couldn't so I slept I had what's that thing dinner my mom came up she's like oh you did sleep and I'm like very much did so I had dinner and just been hanging out a bit downstairs and now I'm going to make my mom's mask because she asked me if it was done yet and I was like mom like you literally saw me come home and fall asleep but I will make that now I just had her try on the one that I changed the ribbon placement um, to make sure that it was good ribbon placement. So, I'm trying to decide if I want to listen to Harry Potter while I do this, or if I want to maybe grab my... Use your brain, use your brain, use your brain. Use your brain. iPad. It was like there. I just couldn't articulate it. I want to grab my iPad and maybe watch some Survivor? But I feel like I want to pay attention to Survivor, so I should probably just listen to Harry Potter. Also, I can't remember if I mentioned this recently, but listening through Harry Potter, I'm on the seventh book now. I am just, I don't know if it's because I'm older or if it's because someone's reading it to me. I think it's because someone's reading it to me. But I am, like, just so much more emotional about things, like, deaths and, like things that have happened in the past, like just people caring about Harry. I'm just like, <laughs> they love him so much. And I'm just like, you know, at work painting and like, don't cry, don't cry. <laughs> That's my situation with Harry Potter right now. It's cool. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna grab my sewing machine and switch out my top thread for white because, because. <laughs> and um, then we should be good to go from there. <laughs> I got problems. Also, it's really hot in my room. Normally, like, as soon as I come home, I open up a window, get some fresh air in here, but today I was just like, no. <laughs> All right. Get some airflow. Get my sewing stuff within reach. And then I need the pattern for the markings. I'll try to link this uh, the video that I got my pattern from down below, if I remember, if anybody is interested. I am not a sewing YouTuber, but I'm a... I'm just somebody who posts on YouTube and sews occasionally. <laughs> uh, but also, Makara Tours, 
she is a sewing YouTuber and you should check her out. I've linked her before and I will try to remember to link her again because she's just hilarious and really good at sewing things. Okay, I'm gonna go be productive. <laughs> so my Pikachu mask is done <laughs> I love it I also so this is a quarter inch ribbon which the pattern called for I think quarter inch quarter inch or three eighths elastic so this is quarter inch ribbon and I find that it is a little bit easier to navigate than this which I think must be three eighths you know what instead of trying to figure it out there <laughs> yeah three eighths so if you're trying to make this pattern I find that one quarter inch works better but it is so cute I love it it's a safety but make it dank memes <laughs> anyways my mom I told her I was gonna make her a couple more masks and she was like do you have a pattern for a seahorse <laughs> so I guess I will have to embroider another one for her but I do in fact have a pattern for a seahorse so that is good I've just been listening to Harry Potter. I'm, I think I'm almost done this chapter. 18 minutes left. Can't like halfway through. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to finish watching that chapter while like watching that chapter. Really? Really? I'm going to finish listening to the chapter <laughs> while I clean up and then probably start to wind down for, or attempt to wind down for bed because it is 10 after 11 and I know I just woke up from a three hour nap. Like, like just over three hours ago but I'm gonna try not to sleep in like crazy tomorrow I think the plan for tomorrow do more masks because why not I really enjoy sewing I know it's boring that I'm just making masks but I'm like yeah sewing <laughs> um, so probably do more masks and then try to work on writing because I haven't done like any of my writing stuff all week which is terrible and then if tomorrow's Saturday I think Sunday I need to do invoicing and then we'll go from there although one of my co-workers did just email and ask if we wanted to do a phantom of the opera at the theater he said he asked if anyone's interested in running it at the theater and then in the email says to our boss is this okay if we all spread out <laughs> and flag the seat we used because like the thing is is the seats are gonna have to get cleaned um which is very exciting and i don't know maybe i maybe i can go i don't know it'll depend on um what time if it's a go what time dinner is I think my mom works late tomorrow so I might be in charge of dinner I can't remember what dinner is I should probably go check the list but that would be kind of fun to like socialize from great distances but we've got like 467 seats or something and we only have about four, I think 14 staff total but some of them aren't working at the moment so you know that could be fun anyways I'm rambling now I need to take care of that and um figure it out <laughs> okay so I don't know how it happened but it's like 20 to 1 now so what <laughs> so much for going to sleep early but I'm now obviously wide awake as happens but I'm still gonna climb into bed here in a, a couple minutes see bed is all made all pretty I just need to change in my jammies and then hopefully I can sleep well tonight and then not sleep in super late tomorrow fingers crossed <laughs> so with that I guess I'm gonna say thanks for coming along on these last two days and I will see you tomorrow when hopefully I'm not a useless sack in bed for the majority of the day <laughs> good night <laughs>